Hi, welcome back to the Marshall Channel. Today we're taking a look at the Naringo Olympia pistol. These just came into the country and we just got them in our hands. So we're very excited to take a look. It's been a while since Naringo put out a nice, reliable semi-automatic 22 pistol for a decent price. Opening up the box, the first thing I see is the inventory of everything that's going to be inside the box. Uh, you got your cleaning rod, that's pretty standard. Spare mag, always nice. Got a counterweight for the pistol itself and the actual fire which is what we're actually interested in. Now I've already gone ahead and opened up this bag and wiped off the oil for this uh, for this video. Uh, these pistols are pretty nice, they're very comfortable in the hand. Uh, you can see it's got this nice thumb rest right here that really eases your hand into place. Uh, gives you a little bit of an element of repeatability with your grip which normally would take a little bit more uh, muscle memory to get to. Uh, the mag release right here uh, and the safety directly below it. Uh, it's got the fixed sights and the slide is fully reciprocating on the back half which means you got a fixed barrel which should be pretty good for accuracy. Uh, with regards to the, the barrel weight this guy will sit on here as such which I'm putting in very loosely right now just for demonstration you can see with the barrel weight on, there's very little space left over for a second hand, so this is meant primarily for one-handed shooting. It's more of a competition style, which, again, these handguns were used, uh, well, not again, but these handguns were used in the uh, Olympics in the 30s by the German team. They won a few medals uh, in those Olympics, so it is a target-style pistol. I'm very interested to see how it does at the range, uh, see if it lives up to the accuracy that uh, that we expect from it, especially considering that the... Uh, the Norinko Woodsman clone was also very accurate and it's very similar in its design. Alright, we're gonna load up a few mags, we're gonna head out there, we're gonna see how this thing does. I'll see you there. Hey folks, we're back at the range, we've got a few mags loaded up, we've got a mix of uh, Federal uh, Bulk Pack Ammunition, CCI Blazer, uh, CCI Standard Velocity and the CCI Mini Mag, so let's see how she does. First mag went pretty well, pretty accurate. I'm having a bit of difficulty picking up the sights. I got a black target and I got black sights, so. We're shooting at about 22, 23 yards so far and it seems to be doing pretty well. Recoil is so low on the 22s, especially with the uh, the whole slide moving back and forth. You barely even. Barrel starting to get a little hot. You can feel it. Yeah, it's doing quite well so far. I'm feeling myself pull a couple of shots and my hands are starting to get a little sweaty from the heat out here, but... Yeah, there you have it. That was about eight mags. The mag release is a bit bit hard to hit when your hands are sweaty and you can't really rotate the gun in your hands, but uh, that's a very small complaint. I'm pretty happy with how this thing did. Uh, you guys can see I had no real jams, uh, no real issues with the firearm, so we're quite pleased. I'm sure you guys will like it when you shoot it. I think I might pick one up myself, but uh, we'll see. There's a lot of toys out there. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time. 